stealth was coming of age, you might say, but it wasn't just my work uh, because both Hanson and Johnson were very well known in the mm -hmm. field. And uh, in fact, uh, because of the work that Frank Johnson did, we were known as a center of excellence for NASA. And there were you know, only several of those around the country. And so, and that's another thing that made it you know, a great place to work at. Normally our students are just working on algorithms and the mathematics. The ability to cross over to maybe history and preservation was something that they really weren't used to. It's one thing to kind of just say, well, I'm, I'm able to improve uh, speech technology for some company. It's another thing to say, I've got Neil Armstrong or Buzz Aldrin's voice and now future generations will be able to hear this forever. I remember as a little kid uh, looking at the moon when they landed on the moon. In my life, I never thought I would do anything to you know, help on this. This was just something I was really happy about. It turns out just before I decided to propose to my wife, we were in, in an old English pub in 1969 when they landed on the moon. The landlord brought an old TV out of the, his back room and put it on the counter. It was a little country pub and everybody gathered around the, the TV to watch it happen. At that time I had decided I, I wanted to pursue a, my PhD in, in space sciences. It was kind of like a verification uh, that I was doing the right thing.